Francesca. Uh, all right, Pat and Francesca Cerini, and uh, I'm Simon Thompson. So. We're co-authors of Airline Programming, a book just published, recently published by Riley Media. After having taught Airline for 10 years, um, I thought it was about time to for start formalizing uh, the experience we're giving everyone in uh, the training room and uh, document everything down on paper. So starting off with examples in the course, uh, we use that as a foundation to write the book. And I was very, very pleased to join Francesco in this. I, I had experience of teaching other functional languages and, and indeed writing books on them. I'd never written a book with somebody else before and that's been a great experience. And I think what, we've, what I've found from this is you put in about the same effort as writing a book on your own, but I think you get something much better quality out because everything that comes out has been read by both of us and both of us have fed into that, so I think we've got something that we feel very proud of. I think we had both uh, the industrial sector and the academic sector represented and I think that really well, shows in the results. Well, it's an introduction to Erlang um, where we go in and we look at the basics of Erlang and cover them in great detail. We, so we start off by introducing all the data types and sequential programming and recursion, um, followed by concurrency, uh, process design patterns, and um, spending a lot of effort there because I think concurrency is one of the biggest strengths of Erlang. But I think just going back to the basics for a second, what we try and do, we're assuming that people have some experience of programming already. So what we stress is what's different about programming in Erlang, say what programming in Java or programming in C, um, particularly single assignments, so you don't assign to the same variable more than once and so on. So we stress the differences so that people have got the basics under their belt and they're comfortable with those before we move on to the, the, the things that are distinctively Erlang, so concurrency and so on. And uh, we also, well, one of the things we look into is software upgrade during runtime a really cool feature which not many programming languages have today, so you're able to upgrade your module without taking down the system or losing the state. We look at distribution uh, built into the language. Um, we look at interfacing uh, Erlang with other languages. Erlang is perfect for the glue. And uh, so we, well, we concentrate on C, Ruby and Java, but have it abstract enough so that in theory you can add any other language. One of the things that, if people say they're programming in Erlang, what often they're doing is they're using Erlang, but what they're doing on top of that is using the OTP library, which provides a set of uh, design patterns for building uh, common sorts of concurrent behavior. So things like generic client-server code, generic finite state machine code, which allows you to a user to concentrate on the particular functionality they need in an application, but not to worry about making it fault tolerant, because that's baked in right from the start in the in the OTP library. So that's in a, in a, again one of the really cool features of Erlang. We look at a lot of the tools uh, which come with Erlang: um, tools for documentation, tools for type checking, and continue well with the whole debugging this and testing. Uh, paradigms and wrap up with all the do's and don'ts. How do you write efficient Erlang code? How do you write elegant Erlang code? And how should you tackle and approach your, uh, your projects? And all the examples that we develop are available on, on, uh, on the web and we, um, we have exercises in each chapter to give you a chance to try out the ideas that, um, that are there in the, in the, in the book. I think it's aimed at people who, we're not trying to teach people to program from scratch. We assume that people have programmed already, they're competent programmers in Java or C or perhaps Ruby. Um, but we're taking you into functional programming right from the, the, the start and into, into the way that you do concurrent programming in Erlang. So it's aimed at people who are comfortable with programming but want to learn Erlang from, from scratch. Um, we also want to give an in-depth treatment, so we want to make sure that we cover the basics in a way that, that someone who's using the book will feel confident about perhaps doing more complicated things in Erlang that we, we haven't covered. So um, just to give an example, I mean it's going to be used now to teach Erlang universities, uh, several which have picked it up, uh, as well as have been in the industry. So really a wide spectrum um, of people. I hope you like it. I hope you yeah. enjoy it. Thanks.